Being an old company has its advantages. For one, old companies have a massive archive of discontinued cars, and this has turned out to be a gold mine, bringing back old models that have a nostalgic appeal to customers, classic designs, but with a modern twist. Toyota brought back the Toyota Crown. Ford brought back the Maverick and the Bronco, all a resounding success. This Toyota transported presidents and billionaires and is the Japanese equivalent of a Rolls Royce. Join us today as we discuss how Toyota's new Rolls Royce competitor has stunned the entire car industry. The Toyota Century is a car that represents the history and culture of Japan, as well as the excellence and innovation of Toyota. It is often used by the Imperial House of Japan the Prime Minister of Japan, senior Japanese government leaders, and high-level executive businessmen. The Century is a lineup of full-size luxury cars and limousines produced for the Japanese market, serving as Toyota's flagship car within Japan. The Century derived its name from the 100th birthday of Sekichi Toyota, the founder of Toyota Industries. The Century was first introduced in 1967, based on the 1964 Crown 8, which featured the 2.6-liter V8 Toyota V engine. The Century was the third post-war Japanese-built sedan to be equipped with a V8 engine. After the Nissan President and the Prince Gloria Super 6, the Century's design remained largely unchanged for 30 years, except for minor cosmetic changes and engine upgrades. The Century was also the first Japanese car to feature a mass-produced V12 engine, which was developed exclusively for the second-generation model that debuted in 1997. The 5.0L 1GZ FE engine was the only V12 ever produced by Toyota. The second-generation Century also introduced various advanced features such as air suspension, adaptive cruise control, rear-view camera, and voice navigation system. The third-generation Century was launched in 2018 after a 21-year gap since the previous generation. The new Century reverted to a V8 engine, but with the addition of Toyota's hybrid technology. The 5.0 L2URFSE engine was paired with an electric motor and a nickel metal hydride battery, producing a combined output of 425 horsepower. The third generation also adopted a more modern design while retaining some of the traditional elements, such as the Phoenix emblem and the wool upholstery. Now, in 2023, Toyota has its sights set on another legendary car maker, Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce is a British luxury car brand that was formed in 1904. Rolls-Royce is known for its exquisite craftsmanship, superior performance, and unparalleled exclusivity. Rolls-Royce cars are often considered as symbols of wealth, power, and status. One of the most recent and remarkable models from Rolls-Royce is the Cullinan, which was launched in 2018. The Cullinan is the first SUV from Rolls-Royce, and it's named after the largest gem-quality diamond ever found. The Cullinan is designed to offer the ultimate luxury and comfort in any terrain and climate. Toyota wants to challenge the Cullinan with its new Century SUV, which is based on Toyota's modular TNGA platform. The Century SUV is a five-door SUV that comes with seating for only four people, featuring two rear captain chairs that slide and recline like first-class plane seats. The Century SUV also has a lavish interior that includes wool upholstery, wood trim, dual windows-based tablets, entertainment screens, and a panoramic sunroof. The Century SUV even has a trick, sliding doors that open and close automatically with the touch of a button. The Century SUV looks eerily similar to the Cullinan in terms of its exterior design. Both SUVs have a boxy shape, an upright front end, a large grille, a chunky C-pillar, and a split tailgate. However, there are some subtle differences that distinguish the Century SUV from the Cullinan. For instance, the Century SUV has a phoenix emblem on its hood, which is a traditional symbol of Japan's imperial family. The Century SUV also has LED headlights and taillights, that are shaped like Sakura flowers, which are Japan's national flower. The Century SUV will be available in two model variants, a standard one and a sporty-looking GR badged version. GR stands for Gazoo Racing, which is Toyota's motorsport division. The GR version will have a more aggressive appearance with a black grille, black wheels, black mirrors, and black badges. Front passengers will be happy too. Toyota has gone to great lengths to create a cabin that can rival even their upscale Lexus models. The result is a cabin that boasts a multi-tiered dashboard, sophisticated trim options, and a generously sized touchscreen infotainment system. This attention to interior design means that both the driver and front passengers are greeted by an ambiance that's both inviting and elegant. 
Under the hood, the Century SUV doesn't disappoint either. It's equipped with a robust 3.5-liter V6 plug-in hybrid powertrain that churns out an impressive 406 horsepower. This not only ensures brisk acceleration, but also offers a sense of power and control that drivers will appreciate. What's even more impressive is Toyota's claims that the Century SUV can cover up to 33 miles solely on electric power, making it not just powerful but environmentally friendly too. However, what truly sets the Century SUV apart from the competition is its innovative rear door design. While the first class rear seat setup is undeniably luxurious, it's the optional sliding rear doors that steal the show. If you opt for the sportier GR model, these doors open up in a way that's reminiscent of high-end minivans, but with a level of sophistication befitting top executives and CEOs. Rolls-Royce may be famous for its rear hinge doors, but wait until you experience the ease and style of these sliders. The choice to incorporate sliding doors in the Century SUV is a practical one. It simplifies the process of getting in and out of the vehicle, making it effortless for passengers. Even in the standard model, the rear doors open conventionally but at an impressive 75-degree angle. This wide opening ensures the rear passengers can enter and exit the vehicle without any inconvenience, preserving the pristine condition of their finely tailored attire. Another important aspect of the luxury SUV is the comfort of the rear passengers. After all, many owners of such vehicles prefer to be driven rather than drive themselves. That is why the Century SUV has taken extra measures to ensure that the rear passengers are pampered and protected in every way possible. The Century SUV features a laminated glass partition that separates the rear cabin from the cargo area, much like the Cullinan. This partition prevents any noise, dust, or temperature changes from entering the rear cabin when the tailgate is opened or closed. This way, the rear passengers can enjoy a quiet and cozy atmosphere, regardless of the weather or road conditions outside. The partition also has a privacy curtain that can be controlled by the rear passengers, allowing them to adjust the level of visibility and light they desire. The Century SUV also has a rear comfort driving mode that the driver can select, which tailors the throttle, braking, and suspension responses to rear passenger comfort specifically. This mode reduces any sudden or harsh movements of the vehicle, such as acceleration, deceleration, or cornering that might disturb the rear passengers. This mode also adjusts the air conditioning and ventilation system to optimize the temperature and humidity in the rear cabin. The driver can activate this mode by pressing a button on the dashboard or by using voice commands. The Century SUV is not meant to replace the Century sedan, but rather to complement it. The Century sedan will continue to be sold as Toyota's flagship car in Japan, catering to customers who prefer a more traditional and formal vehicle. The Century SUV will be sold alongside the Century sedan, but only at certain Toyota dealers that specialize in luxury cars. The SUV will also offer more customization options than the Century sedan, allowing customers to choose from various colors, materials, and accessories for their vehicle. Customers will be able to personalize their Century SUV like its British competitors, such as Rolls-Royce and Bentley. The Century SUV is expected to go on sale in late 2023 in Japan, with a starting price around $170,000. This price is significantly lower than the Cullinan, which starts around $330,000. However, this does not mean that the Century SUV compromises on quality or luxury. It is a car that will appeal to those who appreciate both tradition and modernity, both elegance and performance, and both simplicity and sophistication. It's a car that will make you feel like royalty on the road. What do you think about the Century SUV? Let us know down in the comments section.